Hi, welcome to Trade Passes Saturday Reviews. Uh, I guess you would call it a Western Saturday. Uh, I watched two Westerns I recently bought. Okay, both John Wayne Westerns. I'm a big John Wayne fan, love Westerns. Okay, and I watched The Train Robbers. Okay, John Wayne, uh, Anne Margaret, and Rod Taylor. And Ben Johnson is in this as well. Okay, and also um, The War Wagon, starring John Wayne and Kirk Douglas. Okay, so I'm going to talk about The Train Robbers first. Okay, this movie, again, stars John Wayne, Anne Margaret, Rod Taylor, and Ben Johnson. Uh, it came out in 1960, no, excuse me, 1973, excuse me. Uh, uh, Anne Margaret's character is named Mrs. Lowe, and after the death of her husband, uh, she wants to, you know, tell the real world that, you know, that, her, you know, there's a half million dollars, of, half million dollars in gold that her late husband uh, stole during a train robbery, and... You know, he died, but he told her before he died, and they have a young son, and she wants to clear the family name by returning the gold, you know, to the railroad, and then, you know, just collecting the reward, and, you know, starting fresh, you know, and so that way our son doesn't grow up with, a, you know, with a father that was a train robber, okay, and um, John Wayne's character is named Lane, and he convinces her that he can help her, you know, retrieve the gold. Okay, and then he can him and he can hire a few of his friends, uh Rod Taylor who plays Grady, uh, and Ben Johnson who plays Jesse. And 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 there's also uh two other guys. I think Christopher George plays one guy named Calhoun and I think that uh, there's Bobby Vetton is in this movie. He plays uh Ben Young, a young guy that uh Lane kinda rescued from, you know, being a robber. <laughs> and you know, they convince, you know, but you know, to, to tell him, Jane, John Wayne's character, the minister said, let's, you know, he tells her, listen, tell me what the goal is, we'll go retrieve it, and, you know, return it for you for a share of the reward, but she wants to make sure, you know, she wants to go with him because she doesn't really trust that they will just take the goal and split if she tells him, so she wants to actually go with them, and reluctantly, John Wayne's character, uh, you know, lets her go, okay, and of course, he also warns her, or his, or his buddy says, "Listen, uh, you know this husband could get, you know, get killed in Mexico, got shot in the back, and he has he had other partners when he robbed the train. So as soon as we uh, go head out, you know, to find the gold, you know, they, I'm sure they'll be hot on our heels. Of course, so he tell he tells them that, and and they go out anyway, and you know, you know, they're a, a step ahead of the robbers at this point, but." There's also another character in the movie, uh, Ricardo Montalban. He uh, plays a mysterious character who also seems to be on the trail of our gang that's heading out there. And this is a, a nice, fun movie, a fun western. Uh, like I said, uh, Rod Taylor's character of Grady, he's sort of like a a fun guy who's always looking for, for you know, for the latest fun. Ben Johnson, of course, is the serious one, as usual. Uh, Okay, and then you have Christopher George's, you know, what the new guy to the crew named Calhoun, and he's kind of a hothead. Okay, and, and him and John Wayne kind of butt heads a little bit. Okay, and then of course Anne Margaret character, she's uh, you know, her and John Wayne's character, you see they kind of, you know, they have a kind of chemistry together, and they kind of, you know, get close during this trip. And this is a, like I said, it's a fun western because uh, you have these buddies, you know going out for this goal. Of course, it's a dangerous mission because you see uh, there's a, a whole posse of guys, you know, following, you know, trailing them, trying to, you know, wait for them to find the goal so they can take it from them. Okay, and and then, of course, you have Ricardo Montalban's character, who's this mysterious character that you see also following you. You don't know, you know, what his motives are exactly, so I don't want to spoil that, but it's a fun, it's a fun movie. It's a 72 minutes, and I like uh, the relationship, uh, and Margaret's character had with John Wayne's character, and it was they had a nice crew. And John Wayne also had a good, you know, kind of a relationship with uh, Bobby Vinton's character, who plays like a young guy who was like a former bad guy, who who uh, John Wayne's character kind of turned around. And then of course you have his two buddies, Rod Taylor and Ben Johnson, who like his best friends, who know him, you know, so well and stuff, and they kind of butt heads sometimes. And it's it's just a good, you know, typical western, and, and but very well done. Okay, and. I liked it a lot, and I definitely recommend it. Um, I would give this Train Robbers a 7 out of 10. Totally worth watching. Really good actors in this, and totally worth watching. Okay, now, the next movie is uh, 1967's The War Wagon. 
and this one stars Kirk Douglas and uh, John Wayne. Okay, and it's basically the story of uh, John Wayne's character, Tar Jackson. Tar Jack Jackson, yeah. And uh, Kirk Douglas plays Lomax. Uh, he plays uh, like, well, Tar Jackson, let's take John Wayne's character. His character is like a, uh, he was a former rancher who basically got shot and 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 skull stolen from him and sent to jail by um, a guy named Pierce. Uh, and there's an also another character named Lomax, played by Kirk Douglas, who actually was the one who shot <laughs> uh, Tar Jack, Tar Jackson, and and had him sent, you know, and had him sent to prison. And you have Howard Keel in this as well. He plays a character named Levi Walking Bear, an Indian. <laughs> and then you have Robert Walker Jr., who plays Billy Hyde. He's like a, his character is like a drunk, and, but he's also a friend of John Wayne's character. And then you have a. Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, what's this guy? Keen Wynn, I'm sorry. As Wes Fletcher. He's a uh, a guy that works for the guy named Pierce who stole John Wayne's character's ranch from him. But he's also a buddy of uh, John Wayne's character. So they need, they, so basically the story is about this guy, Tar Jackson, you know, returning to the, from prison. And, and they don't really tell you uh, what he was really sent to prison for. They just tell you that he was shot and survived and got sent to prison and basically had his ranch stolen from him by this guy um, named Pierce, who was like a real rich guy who basically owns the town and owns the sheriffs and stuff. And uh, now that he's out, Todd Jackson, he decides he wants to rob this, they call it, they have a thing called the war wagon where um, this guy named uh, Pierce who runs the town, he transports uh, the gold from the ranch, I, I think into the, into the shitty and he, and he, he does it in the vehicle that's called a war wagon. It's a big, uh, steel uh, wagon that you know has guards inside of it, has guards on top of it, and guards you know in front and in the back. <laughs> and of course, Tar John Wayne's character of Tar Jackson, he wants to rob it and basically get the money that you know, the money that he was that was stolen from him. And of course, he hires uh, Lomax, who's like a gunslinger for hire. Uh, Kurt Douglas's character, he's like a you know a character for hire, and they have a kind of a a frenemy kind of relationship. And you know, and he promises me, he says, I'll give you a hundred thousand. There's a five hundred thousand dollars going to be in this gold shipment, and I'll give you a hundred thousand of it, and then we'll split it with amongst our other partners. Like I said, Billy Hyde, played by Robert Walker, and the Indian character, played by Howard Keel, named Levi Walking Bear. Okay, and it's kind of a not a complicated plan, but it, it has a lot of moving parts to it. Okay, and they have to you know, basically, you know, try to stay a step ahead of the character named Pierce and all his uh henchmen uh, to, you know, enact their plan to, you know, to steal this gold from the war wagon. And you can tell uh, Kirk Douglas is having a great time because this character is flashy and showy. He's like this this awesome gunman who's like the best in the West. And then, of course, John Wayne is this, you know, guy seeking revenge. And like I said, him and Kirk Douglas have some characters. They have kind of a, a frenemy kind of relationship, but they worked together well. And then you have Robert Walker Jr., who plays Billy High, a prisoner who actually met John Wayne's character in jail. But he's a bit of a drunk, but he's an ex he's an explosive expert, which is why John Wayne's character wants him to to be on this um on, in on the scheme. And then you have Keenan Wynn, who actually works for Pierce, and he, they need him to transport whatever gold they if they gold they happen to steal. Okay, and he has a young wife who basically he mistreats. <laughs> okay, and but it's a it's a fun movie, actually. John, you can tell like Kurt Douglas had a great time making this movie because this character is flashy and showy. And like I said, there's a, a bar fights in this, and there's a, a sh it's shootouts and stuff and explosions, and just a good. A John Wayne's character is, is like a badass, just a total badass in this. And I like the way he. There's several points in the movie where he just comes into town to you know, and they screw around with him, but he just you know he always manages to you know to get out of it. And just you know, just a cool character, and I really like. And Bruce Cabot makes a uh, a good villain. as Pierce, the guy who was in charge of, of the town and basically stole it, stole the gold and stole stole everything from Tar Jackson. He makes it, you know, he has a little henchman on the side, and you see a young Bruce Dern in there who plays a character named Hammond. He's in the movie as well, but it's a fun movie, and you'll definitely be entertained by this. Uh, again, you know, this is complicated plan that they come up with to steal the gold. From the war wagon and 
It was a fun ride to me. I thought it was fun and definitely worth watching. So I'm going to give it the War Wagon. It actually, uh, a 7 out of 10. It was actually directed by the same director that directed The Train Robbers. And, you know, this was first and then this was uh, second. But they were both directed by um, Burt Kennedy. Yeah, I guess he collaborated with John Wayne on a couple of movies, but he directed both of these movies. And both of these movies I thought were entertaining westerns uh, with great, you know, good actors in it and a nice, decent western story. Okay, and both of them, I'll give a 7 out of 10 for both of them. They're just entertaining and totally worth watching. And again, I'm a big western fan, so I'm sort of biased, but they're still entertaining movies and totally worth watching. And I'm a big John Wayne Duke fan, so I definitely... Uh, recommend both of these. So anyway, let me know what you think. If you've seen those two Westerns, uh, what do you think of them? Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.